What's going on guys, Glockguy226 here, and today we're going to be going over two holsters I recently received from Tango Arms, and these holsters are made from a company called Guncraft. Stay tuned. Alright guys, we are back, and like I mentioned, we have two holsters here from a company called Guncraft. Now I've heard a lot about these holsters, seen a lot of pictures on Instagram. I've honestly heard not one bad thing about Guncraft in general. Now they produce a lot of really, really custom holsters, super nice stuff when it comes to like the suede wrapped, um, custom Kydex patterns. And from what I understand, um, the owner of Guncraft, Jeremy, is a one man show. So when you get into stuff like that, some people like to take their time, build a quality product. Um, some of their more custom stuff definitely is expensive and from what I know you do have a little bit of a weight but recently Mike over at Tango Arms got a pretty decent shipment of some Guncraft holsters in and he was cool enough to send me one out for my Glock 19 as well as my Glock 43. A few people have seen pictures on my Instagram of my Glock 43 right now and I don't have the TLR6 on it and they said you know what happened, what's going on? Uh, what is happening is I got a holster from Guncraft that doesn't have a TRL-6. Uh, it's not a light bearing holster and I really wanted to run it and give it a try so I've been running it without a light for right now. As far as the Glock 19 holster goes, this holster is really cool guys because you can run it with a Surefire XC1 as well as a non-light bearing holster. Uh, it, it's different, I've never seen nothing like it. Um, the way he does it is right in the trigger guard, he puts a little tiny pinch in there, so that's where all your retention is. Um, I've So far guys, I've really liked this holster, and we'll go ahead and safety check my Glock 19 before we get too into this discussion, and as you guys can see it is clear, and I do have an empty mag in there as well. So while we're up here close, guys this Guncraft holster is very very nice. Um, perfect lines, perfect edges. I really like the Guncraft logo on the clip. And what's cool is they sent out, and I think this is an, an option, you don't have to do this and it does cost a little more, but you can actually get the kit, it comes with soft loops, a one skinnier clip, as well as this 1.5 belt clip. And I just haven't changed the hardware over. I probably will change it to soft loops, but for now I've just been running it like this. This holster here is called the Arcane. And what I like about it, like I mentioned, you can run it with the Surefire XC1 or without it, and retention is great either way, guys. I've ran it with bolt or with the light, without the light, and I have decided to keep the Surefire XC1 on there. Now, I recently also put a compensator on my Glock 19 here. If you guys haven't seen the video, please go check that out. I also have some really awesome discount codes from Legion Precision for this compensator. Now what's cool about the Arcane holster here is it is open ended at the bottom and I can run my compensator with it. Now I have run into some other holsters where the bottom is closed off or majority of other holsters the bottom's closed off but with Guncraft he leaves the bottoms completely open which is very very nice. Um, a lot of different barrels out there these days. Both of my agency barrels, well this one's threaded obviously but my titanium nitride agency barrel even hangs out just a little bit more than your stock barrel does. So you do have to modify some holsters for that barrel to really, or for that gun really to be able to sit in there good. And um, I have carried it like this with the comp exposed. I would way rather get a Glock 34 holster where everything's covered up completely. But for now guys, I have carried it like this quite a bit and I haven't seen any issue with it whatsoever. So one thing that's cool about these, like I mentioned guys, these are ready to ship holsters which is really nice. Sometimes it stinks, you get into the more custom holsters and you gotta wait a little bit. Um, when you get a quality product, sometimes you do have to wait. Now this holster here for the Glock 43 is called the Cloak. And as you guys can hear, awesome, awesome retention. Nice click in there. And it's not going anywhere, guys. This is also an open-ended holster. And I will go ahead and safety check my Glock 43 for you guys, sorry about that, I usually do it at the beginning of a video, but empty mag, empty chamber, and um, I really do hate that I can't run the TLR6 on my 43 right now, I love having a light on my carry guns, self defense guns, but I couldn't turn down, uh, you know, getting this holster and trying it out, so a big thank you to Mike at Tango Arms once again, and he does have these holsters in stock guys, I think he does have a couple different color variations, I know he has carbon fiber, he has this black as well as gray. 
I thought gray was kind of cool. I've never had a gray holster. So I figured, you know what, go ahead and send that and we'll try that out. Now I have been running both of these, kind of alternating them as I go. And they do, or for this order at least, uh, Mike over at Tango got the option where it does come with the accessory kit from Guncraft. It has two soft loops in there, the longer clip, and then you get your 1.5, which comes from the from Guncraft um, on your holster. So I probably will switch over to the soft loops, but for now, I've never had an issue running these clips, guys. I'm a bigger fan of soft loops on all my spider concealment holsters, which are my main carry holsters. I do run soft loops, and I have absolutely fallen in love with them. Um, you just get a little more play. They're a little bit more comfortable, and they're definitely not coming off unless you want them to come off. But as far as these clips go, guys, I personally have never had an issue um, holstering, reholstering, running them at the range, carrying them all day, every single day for over a year. And, you know, I, I just really like clips. So, when it comes to concealed carry, holsters are super important, guys. Your belt, your holster is just as important as what gun you choose to carry. So, I am going to be doing some testing on these holsters. I thought I would just give you guys a little preview of them. Um, see if you guys have a Guncraft holster, maybe have some comments on it, some thoughts. And um, please like, share, subscribe. Uh, I do appreciate every single one of you guys watching. And have a good night, guys.